Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Okay, I'm going to let Elvis out in the big room. I think he's probably looking for food, but hopefully he'll realize that there's no food at hand and uh, go about his uh, business of having some enrichment. Go on, dude. There's no food. Relax. Relax. There you go. What? You don't want to come out into the room? Well, I want to sort of tidy up your cage a little bit. What? What are you thinking, huh? You see your camera? Huh? You see the camera? Yeah, you know Mr. Camera. You gonna let me tidy up your uh, space, huh? Hey. He's very possessive of... <laughs> of his space. What the hell is that he's saying? Get away from my space. Well, it happens to be the poop bin there, dude. As I've uh, been saying all along, my snakes do not like the cleaning people, i.e. me. And they only like me when I bring them food. And you can see by that... Uh, uh, aggressive posture he displayed when I brought the poop uh, bin uh, nearby. Huh? What are you tasting, huh? Yeah, I'm really somewhat reluctant letting him out in the room, but he needs enrichment because, you know, there may be some other snake pathogens uh, lying around on the floor from the different animals. You know, a lot of these animals have been here for a long time and um, generally considered uh, they pass safely through quarantine and such. However, it still worries me. Uh, I am very fond of the snakes and don't want anything to happen to them. Okay, Elvis, why well, thank you for uh, cooperating and vacating your uh, space. No idea where you're going yet. Usually he heads over uh, to the window for some sun. And uh, I'm sorry, it's a little late in the day for sun on that windowsill, but you can still go out and about and do what you do. Cruise around, taste everything. Uh, sometimes make it to your hidey hole and chill there. Well, not really chill. It's nice and warm there. Uh, all this while I clean the cage. So unless something dramatic happens, I'm going to shut the camera down and go about my business picking up his poop. Well, it's now 15 or 20 minutes later. Elvis's cage is clean and Elvis decided to emerge from underneath the, the small bins uh, uh, to see what's going on. It's unusual for him to stay in one place for, for that long upon immediately exiting his cage, but he did. Investigating, huh? That's 
It's Mr. Camera. Behave. Oh, how did I end up in my cage? Yeah, somebody cleaned up after you. Oh, fresh substrate. Mmm. I like to stick your face in fresh sub substrate. Well, I'm not bothering you. Just go about your business. You know, that encounter with the camera and stuff, uh, I was definitely at the disadvantage being below his head, so I had to raise the camera so he's not uh, has the angle of striking down. Uh, and you know, he basically uh, came over and well didn't bump the camera, but thought about it. Uh, but you know, then he sort of went off. his cage and the encounter was over. Uh, it's just like playing a very dangerous game of poker. You have to know when to hold and when to fold. That's, you know, he sees his reflection and therefore thinks it's another snake in his territory. Therefore, he must uh, exert his uh, uh, superiority. It's a little nerve-wracking for me, but I'm pretty used to his uh, antics. I I generally know when he's not f when he's <laughs> uh, means business and not fooling around and and acting uh, rambunctious and. And all full of his male power, you know. He's he's a young male. He's only seven years old. Uh, you know, he's a breeding age now, and uh, you know, I don't know if he sees me as another male king or not. But uh, definitely doesn't like the camera and doesn't like my shoes. So now he's off on his typical uh, uh, travel throughout the snake room. So we're just going to let him go again. And if something interesting comes up, I'll uh, turn the camera back on. Are you scaring the boom slang? Huh? Are you scaring the big boom slang? Oh, yeah, these are your favorite shoes, huh? Hi. No, I don't have food. Dude, you're attracting attention. It would be good if you just chilled out with the in your hut. Elvis, what are you doing? Why are you around my feet?
sweet. Come back. Wait, the door was open and I missed it. What happened? What happened, huh? You want to sanitize the water dishes, what happened? I missed my chance. Your cage is all wet. Elvis, I gotta fill your water dish. Here, here, have a drink of water. I know you want to come out, but I'm gonna wet your ass down because this, of course, the one time I wanted to work and I wanted to go in his hut, he's not going to. Go in your hut, you toad. He wants out. He's hungry. He's been having some digestive issues. And he's not cooperative. Of course not. Of course not. <clears throat> All right. Game on. Oh, boy. On your feet. Yeah, well. His favorite thing, your shoes. Leave my shoes alone. I know you want it. Oh boy, does he want out. Where Look at you? the size of him. You big slinky. Oh, oh great. Cage. Well, this is interesting. Um, I don't dare try to get in the way. No, so out of the it. way. He's just too heavy to too hook. Come on. Get in there. Yeah, for those of you out there, yeah, I free handled, but I wasn't doing it for the camera. It's just that I couldn't control him with one hook. And I need the two handles. Sorry, dude. I'm sorry. He's as strong as a freaking ox. Yeah, he's very impressive when he comes out and really he's determined to be out. Yeah, really determined to stay out. And that's the only time you really get a true idea of his size. This is a massive snake. Well, the female Echis colorata shed. The male is, I think, in a terminal spiral. He is just not eating. Uh, he's a very old snake. Um, you know, I'd love to, <laughs> to keep him around for a while, but uh, I think he's slowly dying. Um, I don't want to uh, restrain and force feed him. Um, I don't think that's the right thing to do. I still offer him food. He goes through the motion of his uh, little fang-waving... Uh, uh, yawning uh, routine, but he just doesn't seem to uh, be interested in food. Hi. Yeah, just relax everybody. Just removing the shed. I'll put the house back. There you go. Now, he may go through his yawning routine and looking like he's interested in food, but after, what, 20 or 30 tries uh, over the past um, many weeks, uh, he's not uh, accepted food. 
Uh, I've tried all of his favorites. Uh, he's just not interested. You can see he'll do his uh, his pre-feeding uh, routine there, but he just won't eat. Uh, no matter what I offer him, uh, he was liking chicks. He was liking. Uh, rat pinks and rat pups um, and then uh, decided not to eat anything so make a liar of me he looks like he's interested but he's just like eh, I'm not come on dude please you know he, that snake is probably 15 years old plus um, you know, he's, he does this getting my fangs ready thing, but, uh, just doesn't, uh, doesn't eat. I'll leave this in the cage and see if maybe he'll eventually decide that it is something he's interested in eating. However, I have little hope that he will actually eat, I think. <laughs> A lot of times the female has eaten the morsel left behind for him, or I pulled it out the next morning. Um, because uh, it wasn't eaten and was starting to decay. Alright, I'm just going to leave that back there and let him decide what he's going to do. Okay, I'm, I'm exceptionally happy I turned around and he's eating it has been months since he he ate i will certainly offer him another one uh, as soon as he gets that down the hatch holy cow um it's always extremely upsetting when these snakes go on a fast like that you know it can literally be months and you're at your wits end and thinking, oh, they're dying, and suddenly they start eating again. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is amazing. Uh, I'm really shocked. I hope he continues. I'm not going to disturb that until it's down the track. Um, but uh, uh, he's got some water with that and uh, some substrate, some shake and bake. Uh, um, but uh, we'll look in, in on him in a minute and offer him something additional to, to eat. Would you like another dude, huh? Alright, I'll leave it there. You can decide. A lot of effort getting that one down, huh?